you know, some people say that uh, beauty pageants and beauty contests are somewhat uh, outdated, sexist, especially, uh, and not relevant uh, in today's society. Uh, I have a tendency to wholly disagree with that uh, because it's not always about uh, uh, women displaying themselves in uh, bikinis uh, and uh, being portrayed in a sort of uh, sexual way. Uh, this particular uh, pageant um, reflects the all-round uh, talents in relation to the young black women uh, uh, which they have to have and have to display uh, in terms of this particular competition. And it's not about uh, their beauty, it's about their intelligence, it's about what they want to offer to the community and it's about inspiring uh, young women uh, to have a, vo a voice uh, within uh, UK society. It's been a pleasure to host Miss Caribbean UK at the Tudor Rose today. As I'm sure you're aware, the Tudor Rose is historically known as London's only iconic cultural light spot. We must build a culture of total inclusion to make our children's future better, knowing that they have the tools, ability and confidence to continue until we have complete and total unity. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miss Caribbean UK 2020. And it gives me a huge pleasure and such an honor to present such an amazing event with some incredible, incredible finalists, guys. I'm your host, Sir Ashley J. Now, Miss Caribbean UK is here to inspire, educate, promote, and celebrate the Caribbean's historical impact in the whole of the UK community. That's right, the whole of the UK community. I see what you're thinking. You're sitting there at home thinking, we know about the Caribbean impact. I go Notting Hill every year. No, I'm not talking about those two days at Carnival where you jump up and pretend you're Jamaican to be your auntie and ask for pasty. It's called patty. Now, speaking of cultural appropriation, jokes aside, the organizers of Miss Caribbean UK, Clayton and Jackie Brown, have made such an impact, such a change with this, and they want us to know, all of you guys at home, that the whole Caribbean community, the old and young generation, the descendants are coming together to raise more awareness of the impact of the community, to bring this diaspora together for the younger generation to recognize and realize the impact that we've had. And it's a beautiful thing to see. I mean, just yesterday, I heard Ed Sheeran say, Mawan Aki and Saltfish with planting on the side. What a beautiful thing. A man with red hair knows about good seasoned food. Lovely. Miss Caribbean UK has gone far and wide to get together these five esteemed judges. They have put no expenses there and brought them all together. Together, 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 together. There was no budget for an echo, so I just did it myself. Um, I'm from East London. We know how these things are. Okay, our first judge, amazing man who needs no introduction, has worked hard to get where he is, the top barrister and one of the best chasers on ITV, Mr. Sean Wallace, in the building, live and direct. Our second judge is Miss Caribbean UK 2015, the one and only Amy Harris Willock. It's really lovely when you do all this talking and you say your name and they clap for that person, but they ain't clap for you yet. But it's all right, it's all right. Can take that. No, 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 clap. No, I don't want to clap now. It's too late to clap for me. Too late. Sorry. Our next judge, the proprietor, Ace Inventories, Andrea Catlin. Someone give an extra clap there. Her cousin's in. Another judge, Miss Caribbean, First Princess 2019, Diani Felix. Wicked as well. <clears throat> okay. Our final judge, sweeter than sugarcane itself, from Guadeloupe via Craydon with love, the business development manager with Mackenzie Girl Limited, the one and only Florian Valmy de Villers. We oui, we oui, on Chantay. And not to forget, ladies and gentlemen, our adjudicator, Ansel Wong, CBE, and his assistant, Deborah Asher, all at the helms today for Miss Caribbean UK 2020. Hello, my name is Amy Harris, and I was a former Miss Caribbean UK Queen in 2015. And this is Florey. So I work for the Caribbean Tourism Organization chapter, UK and Europe, and uh, we are very happy to be supporting this event and being judged today. I was fortunate to actually go back to Antigua and Barbuda 
and actually go and visit the schools and help out, give my, share my story, inspire the kids to actually become better in the future. So I congratulate um, every single one of them and I wish them all the best for the very good future. Absolutely, congratulations to all of the participants. They're all our queens. We chose today one leader, one ambassador for our Caribbean. And congratulations to Jackie and all of the organizers in Clayton for organizing this great event, promoting our queens and making sure that we sustain our community the best way we can. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I think it's very important that we have pageants like this today. Um, it's done amazing for me. Like my confidence has gone through the roof since I entered last year. And I think it's just great for like young black women to support each other, to promote each other and to create a lovely sisterhood. I'm Ashley J. Let's see the ladies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get it kicked off with the first round. This is Miss Caribbean UK 2020 and it's the Carnival Round. Hi, I'm Yoshi. I am the founder and director of YF Mass. I design all the carnival costumes that you see here today and I've been designing and making carnival costumes in the past few years. I have a very highly esteemed private section in the band Release the Rhythm. Um, and if you'd like to find more about what I do, check me out on Instagram. It's y underscore f dot <laughs> Watch a designer, fine as wine and good and pick on the road like that. She got the vibe and smile, her smooth profile. Go see when she go like that. Eh. Got the way that you're fitting on, girl, you can perform. And I love when you turn it on. Hello, my name is Angel Louis, and I'm representing the beautiful island of Montra, a people of excellence, molded by nature and nurtured by God. <laughs> Good afternoon, judges, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ashley Smith, 27, representing the islands formerly known as Las Tortugas. Welcome to the Cayman Islands! Big ride, big ride, all the girls them are big ride. Top ride, top ride. Full of energy, full of carnival energy. Our boys, our feet, music. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed judges. My name is Ebony Allison, and I'll be representing the land of wood and water, Jamaica. Good afternoon, esteemed judges, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Farrah Grant. I'm 22 years old, representing the beautiful by nature, Tax and Cake Asylum. Let me see you do like that. Big fight, do like that. Let me see you do like that. Take the walk. Give me a jump. Pull on your waist. Be with me, hot. It's two away. Inside our back. It's all the lead. Hi, my name is Janice Haynes and I'm representing the first tropical island to enter the Winter Olympics. The one and only Jamaica! Hi, my name is Rhiannon Johnson and I'll be representing the Majestic Isles of Spice, Karakou Grenada! Keeping it 
the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, two islands, one paradise. I'm 21 years old and I'm representing the most amazing, the most beautiful island of St. Lucia. Hi, I'm Saya Charles, I'm 21 and I will be representing the Isle of Spice, most known for its production of nutmeg, the beautiful Grenada. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, there it is, our carnival round, the first round. We've seen all our finalists, they're up, they're ready to go, and I bet you guys are at home as well. We're going to catch you on the other side of MC UK 2020. We gon' mash up everything I can see the pageant becoming even bigger and even better by getting a larger audience of people involved, following and watching, joining in and partaking as it's an amazing experience that helps you grow and learn so much and become a better you. Hi, I'm Ashley Smith. I'm 28 years of age and I'm representing the Cayman Islands. This pageant has been extremely life-changing. It's developed me as a character, it's developed my confidence, but not only that, it's allowed me to connect with my Caribbean heritage, which is extremely important to me. For anyone else who may be thinking of entering Miss Caribbean UK, I would tell you to absolutely go ahead and do it. Just press that apply button and make sure that you be your authentic self and make sure to go out there and shine. Pageants like these are really important, as not only does it promote the Caribbean islands in a positive light, but it also celebrates the diversity of black beauty. Not many pageants often represent young black women, which is what I loved about this pageant, as it was dedicated to us. Congratulations to this year's Miss Caribbean UK and well done to all the girls that took part. Uh, so here I'd like to present to you my debut single Move Your Body Girl which is now available on all platforms and don't forget to follow my Instagram Marissa Music Official. So sit back and I hope you enjoy. Body.
to Miss Caribbean UK 2020 with me, Ashley J. Now we are getting into the second round, evening wear. Here we go. Oh, Finalist number one, Angel Luis, 21, representing Montserrat. She's a student studying design, innovation, and creative engineering. She's been at Queen Mary University, and due to her keen interest in fashion design, she'll be designing and creating her own dress for this competition. Angel has also chosen the Sickle Cell Society as her chosen platform due to losing a family member to the disease and its prevalence within the black community. Finalist number two, Ashley Smith, 27 years old, representing the Cayman Islands. Ashley developed her passion for sports from a young age and began playing National League basketball in her teens. Her involvement in sport, both as a participant and leader, has given her a sense of belonging. The next finalist is Ebony Allison Brown, 25 years old, representing Jamaica. She's a youth and community worker. Ebony is a vibrant and warm-hearted individual who thinks highly of her Caribbean culture. Ebony has a degree in youth and community work and a master's degree in criminology and mental health. Farah Grant is 22 years old, representing Turks and Caicos Islands. She's a student studying biology, hardworking, confident, and an outgoing person. She's recently attained her Bachelor's of Science in Biology and looks forward to starting her new career in music. Janice Haynes is 21 years old and she's representing Jamaica. She's a student studying pharmacy. She finds interest in fine arts, athletics and public health. She enjoys helping those around her and making a difference as this has been the main reason why she has decided to go into the healthcare sector. The next finalist is Rhiannon Johnson, 21 years old, representing Grenada. She's studying interior architecture and venue design. Rhiannon embarked on a new challenge that would not only take her out of her comfort zone, but would push her even further. Shaquilla Johnson, 27 years old, representing St. Kitts and Nevis. Born in London to parents both from St. Kitts and Nevis, she takes much pride in learning about 
celebrating and sharing her heritage. Shaquila is a software tester. This finalist is Tashan Sanganen, 21 years old, representing St. Lucia. She's studying drama and theatre arts. Tashan has entered Miss Caribbean UK because it is a way to boost her confidence. She recently graduated with a BA in drama and theatre. Tashan's charity is the Refuge Charity. This finalist is Zaya Charles, 21 years old, representing Grenada. Zaya is a psychology graduate. She has recently graduated from the University of Warwick with a degree in psychology. With this, she has used her knowledge of mental health to create her own projects. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, our finalists in the evening way around. Hi, my name's Farrah Grant and I'm representing the Turks and Caicos Islands in the Miss Caribbean UK pageant. And I am a big, big, big supporter of education and education being made accessible for everyone, which is why I entered this pageant. It's amazing. Young girls, if you're watching this, you should apply. And if you're thinking of applying, you should just do it. It is an amazing experience and you won't regret it. My name is Janice. Well, I'm at the Miss Caribbean UK 2020 finals. And so this pageant has allowed me to grow as a person. I feel like I'm more confident. I'm able to go on stage and actually speak in front of so many people. And yeah, I feel like I have gone so far. It's like a journey and I feel like I'm at, not at my highest, but I'm getting there. I feel like this pageant has contributed towards this. In today's society, we don't always get together like we used to. So with the pageants these days, it is a great way to get all the ladies together so that we can share um, these moments together. Hi, I'm Chad Saro Boeing, singer and songwriter from Barbados. It's my pleasure to dedicate my song, We're In This Together, to the Miss Caribbean UK Grand Final 2020. I also want to thank my godmother, Eleanor Small, who has been your tiara sponsor for the past three years. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Where do we find our strength? When there's no strength Where do we find our hope When there's no hope Where do we find our peace When there's no
Miss Caribbean UK 2020 now before the break all the ladies chose a question to answer so this is the communication round and first up as you can see is Angel. Angel here is your question what do you love the most about your country you are representing and what if anything would you change? Thank you for your question good afternoon esteemed judges high commissioner ladies and gentlemen if there's anything that I could change about my island, it would be the lack of support that we received after the volcano eruption and the fact that there's still people that live on Monstrat today is testament to that. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Next up is Ashley. I wish I could walk like that. Your question, Ashley. It, your question, Ashley. If you had an audience with the Caribbean Prime Ministers, what topics would you discuss with them? Thank you for your question. Good afternoon, esteemed judges, high commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. I would talk about the importance of being passionate, inclusive and hardworking, and trying to inspire the next generation to adopt those qualities. As your queen, I would look to do so and continue to inspire the next generation whilst positively promoting the Caribbean. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Next up, we have Ebony. I'm going to try one of those walks. Okay, here's your question, Ebony. Outside of the beach, what is the one thing 
that you would recommend to someone visiting the country you represent for the first time? Thank you for your question. Good afternoon, esteemed judges, high commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. Outside of the beaches, somewhere that I would recommend a tourist to go to, to my country, is the Bob Marley Museum. My country is Jamaica. His museum is something that everybody needs to see firsthand. Thank you. Thank you, Ebony. Next up is Farah. Hey, your question. What was your motivation for entering Miss Caribbean UK? Thank you for your question. Good evening, esteemed judges, high commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. Having recently graduated from university, I was looking for an opportunity to help spread awareness of the dis disadvantages faced within education here in the UK and internationally. As your queen, I will establish a back to school initiative where I provide underprivileged secondary school children with back to school essentials as I believe education is imperative for a child's future. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Janice. Your question. With which famous person would you wish to spend the day with and why? Thank you for your question. I would love to spend a day with Bob Marley. During my time as a finalist, I've become the Vice President of the Black Pharmacist Initiative. As your Queen, I'll continue to advocate for this whilst educating others on the health benefits of different foods. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Rhiannon. Your question. Which round have you enjoyed the most in the entire competition and why? Thank you for your question. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, high commissioners and esteemed judges. The round that I most enjoyed during this competition would have to be the carnival round. I chose the carnival round as I love to get involved with team members, I love to have fun with other ladies, and I love the fact that we were all uh, able to enjoy ourselves freely and dance to our heart's content. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Shaquilla. Hey, here is your question. How do you plan to contribute to society if you win the crown today? Thank you for your question. Good afternoon, esteemed judges, high commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. I aim to contribute to society as your queen, um, as Miss Caribbean UK, through my, through my Queen's project. I work in technology and have done for the last four years and I can see the need for more black faces, more black women and more black West Indians in the rooms building the solutions that are changing our world to make ensure that we are included and, and represented in those spaces. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we have Tashan. Hey. If you were to mentor to a young person, what three primary tips would you want to give them? Thank you for your question. Good evening, esteemed judges, high commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. The three tips I would give to a young person is to travel. There are so many beautiful things to explore in this beautiful world and so many things to do. Number two is education. Educate yourself and as well as that, learn new things along the way. And also, follow your dreams. Be the best you can be. Thank you. Thank you, Tashan. And here we have Zaya. Hey, here's your question. What qualities do you think Miss Caribbean UK should display when representing the organization? Thank you for your question. Good evening, esteemed judges, High Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen. A queen understands her role as a role model, a nurturer and a friend. As your queen, I would continue to promote my project, the Brotherhood Mental Health Project, which aims to decrease the stigma around mental health in the black community, particularly with black men. Thank you. Thank you. So there we have it. 
carnival round, evening wear, and just there, the communication round. It's over to the judges to make that decision and crown Miss Caribbean UK 2020. I'm Ashley J. Don't go anywhere, 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 anywhere. <laughs>
Hello, my name is Eleanor Small. I'm a sponsor for Miss Caribbean UK and I've been a sponsor for three years. I sponsored the tiaras. Everything was beautiful. It was beautiful considering what this corona virus has done to, uh, to us. Because I love this show, I think that they do so much for the girls and um, give them that, inspire the girls, and I really like that. Being a part of Miss Caribbean UK has been such a fantastic experience. I was able to really reconnect with my heritage more, more than I ever thought I could. I, and I, through the support of my friends and family and loads of other conditions and emissions that I've met along the way, it's been so fantastic to know that, to know, to know my home and feel more like I belong there. Hi there, I'm Sean Sanganu and I'm representing St. Nisha for Miss Caribbean UK today. So I just wanted to generally speak about the importance of pageants and the importance of why we're doing Miss Caribbean UK. It's just to positively promote the Caribbean as well as show off our skills on stage and also show off the importance of doing charity work and many, many more attributes. Hi, my name is Zaya Charles and I'm representing Grenada. I entered this pageant because I believe that there is no growth in the comfort zone and no comfort in the growth zone and I love to push myself past my boundaries so that I have a chance to grow. Entering this pageant has given me a better sense of myself and the kind of person that I would like to be moving forward. Welcome back to Miss Caribbean UK 2020. It gives me the great pleasure to say the results are in. Miss Caribbean UK Hello, uh, my name's Clayton Brown. And I'm Jackie Brown. And we're the directors of Miss Caribbean UK. Um, I would just like to say um, a big thank you to everyone who's been involved in um, making this happen. We initially wanted to have a live event, but due to the restrictions imposed on us by um, Mr. Johnson, um, and COVID-19, we've had to um, go to plan B, which is to have a filmed event. We've had um, rehearsals for three or four weeks in a row. Um, they've had, we've had to change locations, but as they say, the show must go on and we just wanna, we appreciate the fact that they've continued all the hard work that they've put into it. Uh, obviously this year has been very, very challenging, um, but we found a way to showcase these beautiful young ladies and, you know, one of them will win Miss Caribbean UK, but they are all winners. They've been absolutely diamonds. They've, uh, they've really stayed with us and, you know, it's, it's just really, really a testament to what we do. We'd also like to thank our mentors because without their assistance, they, these girls wouldn't be able to keep up the momentum that they've kept up. Um, and also, everybody judges. else that helped us. So we've got the judges, as Clayton said, mm -hmm. you know, the judges have been here. They've been fantastic. We've got photographers, we've got filmmakers, we've got everybody. I'd and like it's just to thank like, Hersha yeah. for letting us use the Tudor Rose. Definitely, without a doubt. It's yeah, and then we've got our tiara sponsor, Eleanor Small. Our carnival sponsor, um, Yoshi. They've done really well. Yoshi from YFMS. And then we've got Hazel Jordan, who's helped us to set up the film. It's been absolutely brilliant. The support has been fantastic. I would like we'll, to thank you all. And we'd like to thank everyone who's watching for supporting us. And hopefully next year or the year after, we'll be able to put on in a live event which you can come and yeah. participate in. Thank you again. Thank you again. Miss Caribbean UK A niche and hold its breath. At this moment, I would like to invite one of our judges, Dr. Sean Wallace, to the stage to give me the results. But also, if you don't know, he is actually a patron of Miss Caribbean UK and has been there since the beginning. So I want to hear what the man's got to say. Please welcome Dr. Sean Wallace. Strong work. Look at them shoulders. That's Armani shoulders. No Primark shoulders there. <laughs> so, thank, you. thank you very much, uh, Ashley. Um, 
Thank you very much and welcome to uh, Miss Carrie in 2020. Uh, I know that uh, it's been a sort of uh, a different version of the event, uh, but it doesn't make it any more exciting uh, and any more wonderful pageant. Uh, I've been a patron now since uh, 2016. Uh, this is my uh, fourth time I've been actually judging as a patron. And the standard so far of this competition has gone up and up and up. They say that uh, beauty contests uh, in uh, today's society is an anachronism. But uh, this uh, competition is the exception because it places greater emphasis on uh, not only just uh, the beautiful face of the uh, nine candidates, but it takes into account their personality, their poise, their confidence and their self-worth. And can I simply say that all nine candidates have been absolutely fantastic. And can we give them a wonderful round of applause? If it was left to me, they'd all be winners, because you're all queens. But there's got to be an overall winner, as always. And can I actually welcome up to the stage uh, Miss uh, Princess of uh, 2019, Diane. Give her a round of applause. How are you? Do you want to say a few words? Of course you of course I do. <laughs> First of all, it's a pleasure to be here today and I have to say well done to all these girls. You've done an amazing job and yeah, I'm just happy to be here today. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so there are uh, seven awards we're about to give out uh, um, in relation to the various categories and uh, keep your applause going in relation to the various winners. As I say, Every nine candidates have been uh, winners, uh, but as I say, they have to be uh, an overall winner in relation to the various categories I'm about to announce now. So, um, the best uh, charity fundraiser chosen by the mentors, uh, the winner, <laughs> Ashley Smith. Well, I'm going to have to touch you like that. Congratulations, well done. Give it up for Ashley. Now, the second award goes out to Miss Personality, and these were chosen by uh, the uh, finalists who are taking part uh, in today's competition. And the winner for Miss Caribbean Personality 2020 is Ashley Smith. Well done, Ashley. No, no, keep that on, Ashley. Keep it, keep it on. <laughs> Just stay there, Ashley. Take a picture. And there we go, and up our own bump. Well done, Ashley. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. <laughs> now, the next category is the People's Champion, and these were voted by uh, members of the general public. Obviously, they've been uh, taking part uh, in various heats up and down the country. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, the general public uh, cast their vote for who they consider to be uh, the People's Champion. And the People's Champion of Miss Caribbean UK 2020 it's Farah Grant. Congratulations, Farah. Here you are. Here you are. The fourth category is the best evening gown. And can I simply say, every nine candidates look absolutely splendid. And if I had my chance, I'd actually try on myself, but uh, that's another story altogether. Uh, but uh, the uh, best evening guy, and we're uh, decided by we, the judges, and before we actually uh, announce it, can I give a round of applause for my fellow judges who've been fantastic in relation to their judging? <laughs> Including a former finalist and winner um, of 2015. Well done. So you've got wonderful footsteps to follow in relation to a wonderful Caribbean uh, uh, queen of 2015. Anyway, going back to the awards. The best evening gown, as decided by us, it was very, very close, very, very close, extremely close. I think it's by one point. But the winner was Farah Grant. I 
think you're asking a bit too much you to wear two tiaras, so you can actually uh, hold it on to. Well done. Well done, Farah. Well done. Congratulations. Right, so let's go to the final competition now. The second runner-up, or in third place, as we used to say, is Miss Janice Haynes. Janice Haynes, congratulations. Congratulations, Janice. Well done. Give it up for a wonderful third place, Miss Caribbean UK 2020, second place runner-up, Miss Janine Hayes. Did you stay there, Janine? The first runner-up, or in second place, as we'd say. Again, as I say, we agonized up there, um, debating, discussing, talking, uh, and it came down uh, to one crucial vote. But the first runner-up of Miss Caribbean UK of 2020 is Ashley Smith. <laughs> what an Ashley! I don't know we're going to keep. All, I don't know we're going to keep all those sashes actually. Huh? I think you're going to have to hold that. I don't know we. I think you're going to have to hold that. Okay. Is that the posher one, is it? Well done, Ashley. But, well, I, I really don't want to stand in the way because obviously we've got to see uh, the winner. So, here we are at last. Was that my heartbeat or was that just the, uh, the drum? I think it was my heartbeat actually. As I say, uh, the competition has taken place over the best part of a year, even though, as I say, we have had the difficulty so far as irrespective of the uh, coronavirus restrictions, they have to compete. They've been fantastic. And all girls who've taken part should give now a round of fantastic applause. <laughs> I know I'm longing it out and I'm stringing it out, but we've arrived at that point now. Winning Miss Caribbean UK as a first contestant to represent the Cayman Islands has been the honor of a lifetime. As my reign comes to an end, I look forward to what's ahead with the newfound confidence and opportunities gained on this journey. With that said, due to the global pandemic that we are currently facing, my reign has been untraditional and unexpected, to say the least. It was always my dream from a young age to be an ambassador of my country, and Miss Caribbean UK provided that platform. I would like to thank Clayton and Jackie Brown, founders of Miss Caribbean UK, for starting this organization, and I thank them for supporting me throughout my reign. And I wish the next queen all the success on her reign and hope that I've inspired the next set of contestants by showing them that embracing your uniqueness and being the first of your kind to do anything in life is a great opportunity to stand out and triumph with your God-given talents. Take care and stay safe, everyone. From your Miss Caribbean UK 2019 queen, Sidoni Bar. The winner of Miss Caribbean UK 2020 It's Far Grant! Well done, no. This one, well done. Miss Caribbean UK. Miss Caribbean UK. Miss Caribbean UK. Miss Caribbean UK 2020. Give a round of applause to Miss Far Grant! Miss Caribbean UK, Miss Caribbean UK, Miss Caribbean UK, Miss Caribbean UK. Can 
Can I simply say before I hand over to our wonderful master of ceremonies, he's been entertaining, he's been funny. Give it up for Ashley! <laughs> but before I depart the stage, can I simply thank uh, the organizers, in particular Clayton and Jackie? Where are they, Clayton and Jackie Brown? <laughs> Step forward. You're pushing the boundaries of, as I say, uh, promoting uh, the qualities of young black women uh, uh, in the UK in relation to the poise, grace and confidence. And all the finest, may you continue uh, setting the high standards and making me and making my black community proud of what you have to do. You've been fantastic, ladies. Can I hand you over for the closing remarks to my main man, Ashley? Give it up for Ashley. Thank you, Dr. Sean. What I really wanted to ask Sean is, is there an algorithm on the chase to know that you can win? Is there a BBC A, A, C, C, B, B? That's what I want to know. Can't need that money because there's someone I owe. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Miss Caribbean UK. You see our winners, all our beautiful finalists. It was a hard, hard competition and I think it's been a great experience to do. On behalf of Clayton, Jackie Brown, all our sponsors, all our supporters, all the organisers, thank you so much. We will see you in 2021. I'm Ashley J. Good night. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, yes. I am Ashley J and I'm the host of Miss Caribbean UK 2020. It's a fantastic event and I'm so proud to be a part of this. Now, if you don't know about me, I'm an actor, presenter, writer. Say, where have I seen him? Well, let me tell you where you've seen me. I present for Live Nation. I also am in Jojo and Grand Grand, BBC's first ever black British animated series about St. St. Lucian family. And if you want to get more in contact with me, Easy. Follow me on all social media at Sir underscore Ashley J. That's right. I'm not waiting for the Queen to knight me. I knighted myself already. I'm out. Ugly, pretty, slim, fat, dark, or clear. And then Junior girl were here. Big up my women of the West Indies. Won't pick any one of them for be my queen. Hot girl, cool like the breeze from the Caribbean Sea. You bring out the best in me. Big up my women of the West Indies. Won't pick any one of them for be my queen. Hot girl, cool like the breeze from the Caribbean Sea. You bring out the best in me. Yes. Antigua and woman are the sweetest. Guyanese girl left me speechless. Come on. Trouble when me touch down Kingston City car Jamaica, no man I'm a weakness You know get a good wine, really dark Till your wine pan a girl from Trinidad Dominican, pretty Kittishan and Belizeans Bring them all, come give me Grenada, woman, them feisty Full up of spice, you know them something they me like If Vince girl, them bad one more time Real talk, me go have to catch a flight Big up my women of the West Indies From the lesser to the greater Antilles mm -hmm. The best part of my Caribbean dream My girl, my girl, rock and come in Big up my women of the West Indies We pick any one of them